Okay, it's Robert Giorgioni for robertgiorgioni.com. I'm here in Fulham, a uh, lovely wine shop with Stephen Finch, the owner of Vagabond Wines. Stephen, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. Uh, so tell us about tell us about yourself and about Vagabond Wines. Yeah, uh, so Vagabond Wines here in Fulham, we opened up about uh, three months ago. Um, the idea behind Vagabond was to create a wine shop and uh, sort of a casual place to hang out around wine that really makes wine simple again, accessible to the rest of us, if, if you will. Um, part of the reason for this is as a customer myself, um, I found you know, going into uh, supermarkets was a bit frustrating because just reams and reams of wine that didn't really have much character and um, generally they weren't that interesting and there certainly wasn't any useful help on, uh, from staff. And on the other end there are all these uh, really great uh, independents with good wines um, and lots of knowledge, but it was a bit intimidating in terms of price and in terms of just general atmospherics. So I wanted to create something sort of in the middle of that, which just has really good wine at accessible prices, but then just removes all that unnecessary complexity and the sort of fear factor with wine. So if we could just get people to have fun and uh, browse through wine and discover something that they know they're going to love, that's that's the, the holy grail, so to speak. And I think we're pretty close to that, uh, certainly judging by early customer feedback. Um, yeah, they, they walk in, they see what we're doing. It's like, oh, this is great. They just love it. Um, so I think like we're really on to something. Uh, still quite a ways to go, but very... Uh, very encouraged by the response. But it's still early days yet, isn't it? It's been, what, three months? Three months. Or so since you opened. And you're doing wine tastings as well, aren't you? You're doing tastings and you're doing events and that kind of thing? Yeah, we do. Um, this is one of the surprising uh, successes of the store. Uh, we started with just doing one event every two weeks and just uh, due to response to uh, customer demand, we now do about three a week, three to four. Uh, it's anything from... Uh, Beginner's Guide to Wine Tasting, which is 15 quid ahead, includes charcuterie and cheeses, and we do 8 to 10 wines. Um, and one of uh, my colleagues uh, takes people through you know, how to taste the wines, what to look for, how to, you know, some useful ways to think about describing it. Although at the end of the day, uh, the big message is it, it's about what you like, you know, know what you like, why you like it, and have confidence in liking what you like. Uh, there's no one one is absolutely always better than another. Um, and then we do other events, uh, you know, bespoke events for companies and for groups of people. And um, it's just really good fun. They sit around this table and uh, no one, I always say no one leaves angry. Everyone always has a big old smile on their face when they, when they leave. So it's good fun. Sounds great. And you can also purchase wine online, can't you? You have your own website and you can, you can buy, wine, buy wine online, can't you? We do. It's a very simple website, which is part of the goal, just to keep it simple. But uh, yeah, people can certainly uh, buy wine, get delivery the next day, and we also do uh, free local delivery for uh, people in the area and case discounts and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. Do you have any particular favorite wines? What really, what, which sort of wines do you really enjoy? Yeah. Uh, well, for Christmas, I, I, I sort of spoiled myself and got a magnum of, uh, of the Mineral right here, the magnums are up over there. I uh, absolutely love that wine. It's a terrific Chenin Blanc from the Loire, which I think for a lot of people is sort of like a, a ho-hum wine, but um, it's biodynamically made, which means it's just got all this energy you wouldn't really uh, expect. It's sort of, almost sort of a cider quality, which I, I think is absolutely delicious. Everyone I have tasted, they're just blown away by it. So I got a magnum of that for Christmas. Unfortunately, I never got to drink a drop because by the time I got home, it was gone. All my guests uh, s s selfishly drank it all. But I oh, yeah, but I bet they enjoyed it. <laughs> they, uh, they certainly did, yeah. <laughs> and what about red wines? What are your sort of favorite red wines? Yeah, uh, I was a really big fan of our Amarone um, for, for the Christmas holidays. It's this beautiful, um, it's relatively young, 2007, but... What I really like about it is it avoids being overly syrupy or cloying like a lot of Amarone can be. So it's got some freshness to it. It still has that big, spicy, strong 
character that you expect from an Amarone. Uh, I think it's absolutely delicious. And the, and the label is really nice too. It kind of has the Christmassy colors and sort of a Paris Metro, Belle Epoque look to it. So it's got a little bit of a festive quality. And I think it's just a really nice one. Plus at a, just under 30 quid, I think for quality Amarone is a real, real steal. Great. Well, thanks, Stephen. Thank you for the chat and uh, it's a great opportunity to meet you and looking forward to seeing you again. Likewise. Thank you. Thanks.